Hi there guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all well. My name's John. I'm a reseller on eBay and various other marketplaces, but mainly eBay. Uh, and I document my journey here on YouTube and other social media platforms, but mainly YouTube. Anyway, today I thought I would take you through some of the sales that we've had over the weekend and take you along while I pick them and pack them. The first thing we sold are the Vintage Girls Crystal Annuals, 959, 1964, 1965 and 1971. I got these at an auction, a local auction house, and I got my hands on, sorry about that, I got my hands on a load of um, annuals. Um, some of them have already sold. Uh, we've still got a few lying around, so let's go and pick them over here on the bookshelf. So over here, as you can see, these are the guys we're looking for. Girls, annuals, 1959. They're in pretty good condition for their age, to be honest with you. 1959, 1965. Which one's this one? I think that's one of them. School friend, school friend, Bunty. There's another one. 1964. And... Was there one more? I feel like there was one more. And there it is, they're hiding. Girls Crystal Annual 1971. So these four owe me probably roughly £6. And I sold them for £18 plus postage. The next item I'm going to pick is this Merlin Premier League 97 100% complete football sticker album, which should be over here in the drawers. I remember which one. Here we go. This cost me 50 pence from the car boot sale recently. And as you can see, it's pretty cool. It's absolutely chock a block and complete. The one team that I support is right about here. There we go. There we go. Ravenelli. Fabrizio Ravenelli. Brian Robson. Oh my God, these were the days. These were the glory days of being a Buddha fan. They're all of you. Boom, boom Newcastle. Ah, get away. Yep, so that sold for, what did I say? Uh, £18.50 plus postage. £22.45 with postage. And it owes me 50 pence. The next thing I sold was something I just got the other day actually and did a video on. These Galate Rocky Waterproof Men's Walking Shoes. Paid £6.95 I think for them. And they sold for £26 plus postage. Those guys should be in this box right here. Right, still got the tag on. Actually, look, paid £6.25, not £6.95. Not a bad bit of profit. Actually, a nice pair of shoes, if I'm honest with you. Um, unfortunately, not my size, but yeah. 625 into 25 quid or 26 quid, not bad at all. Next thing to sell is another one of those Transformers books, uh, those graphic novels. Um, like I said, I bought the full stack for about 20, 30 quid, I can't remember now. And um, this one sold for £15 plus postage. So we're well into profit already with these guys. Yeah, we're well into profit with these. I can't remember the exact amount now. I did do a video on them recently, but uh, I sold one already for £35. And that one's there. Has gone, this one here is going for 15 quid. So yeah, anything now that sells from this back, from this collection of um, Transformers books is actually profit. So these are the pile of Transformers books. Uh, it was breakdown we're looking for. Like I say, all these are in pretty decent condition and um, definitely worth something to collect. So that's the one we need there. Nice 15 pounds. And the final pick for tonight is this Fisher Price Trackmaster. Thompson Tank Tank Engine um, Toby sold for eight pound. Literally owes me nothing because uh, I've got a big bag, and uh, if I broke them all down, you're probably talking pennies. So let's go and pick that. So that should be in here in our bag of Toy Master stuff that we've got left. 
I have actually sold a lot of this stuff already. Let me see if I can find it. I think that's him there. Was that the guy? There he is, Toby, sold him for £8 plus postage and packaging. Literally owes me pennies. So that's all the parcels all packed up and ready to go at the post office. Um, I was just doing some listings there. And uh, I don't know if you guys remember, but those, um, those magazines that I, um, that I spoke about in a previous video. This lot here, I mean, I did start listing some of them. I've listed probably about 10. But I'm starting to think now, do you think it would be better if I just like listed them all off as as sort of as bulk, you know, maybe ten, ten for um, ten pound or something like that, um, instead of like or even listing the whole box? Like, what price would you put on that for a whole box of these magazines? I mean, I I, I just don't know if I can be bothered going through and listing every single one you see, and uh, maybe someone out there who's got a bit more time on their hands or have a bit more patience. Or knowledge in magazines, comics, whatever you want to call them, um, might want to uh, you know take the time and list list them individually. So yeah, I was just wondering if you guys had like an opinion on sort of like what I should maybe do there. What would you do? Would you would you list the whole box as a one? -er? Would you break them down into different sections and list them off separately? Or would you do them individually? What What do you think, guys? Right, guys, that was just a quick video just to show you what I sold over the weekend. I know it's not amazing sales, but it is sales at the end of the day, and we are just getting back into things. One thing I have noticed is um, the more that I'm listing now, the more sales that I'm getting, or at least the more watches as well I'm getting, so I can send out offers to each and every one of them and then getting sales through them through that way. Um, so that's something to take note of. Obviously, try and list... At least some every day, um, and I think that eBay eBay definitely likes that and rewards you by showing your listings to the potential buyers out there. But anyway, like I said, that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, if you can, give us a give us a like, and if you're new around here, please hit that subscribe button. It helps me out immensely. And yeah, I will see you in the next one. See you later, guys.